So for today, we're going to be looking at the Starfarer Strides. We're going to be looking at the Titan, Warlock, and Hunter. I made sets for each individual class, and I really like how a lot of these came out. I am still working on getting all of the armor pieces. I'm currently at level 80, so be patient with me. I do. I will make that a uh, review soon, hopefully, and I'll obviously have some example sets that are separate to these, hopefully. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe. It really does help a lot. And I've seen that you guys have just been blowing up the channel. So I really do appreciate y'all. So to start off, we're going to be looking at my Hunter specifically. We're going to be using the Falcon chest piece because I think it looks really good. And I still have like, I think one or two other sets that I haven't shared with you guys yet. This is the first one. I think it looks really cool. I did mention in the Falcon chest piece video, which I'll have up right now. I did mention that I wanted to combine the Starfarer's strides with the chest piece. And I think uh, I was on point with it which i'll be getting into shortly so for the helmet we're using the celestial mask i really like this mask it is very situational for me but thankfully in this situation it looks really good for the arms we're using the wild hunt grasps now after we look at the hunter i'll be showing you guys what i actually wanted to use because there's like three or four arms that i was actually thinking about i decided on the wild hunt grasp because i like the fact that the arms look really good with the chest piece because the chest piece looks really empty with certain arms and obviously i'll explain further after we're done looking at the armor set uh for the boots obviously we're using the starfare strides i i love these boots these boots are so cool definitely definitely one of my favorites now because of just the simplicity of it not only that the like the the cloth on the left of the hip is actually connected to the boots it's not the chest piece, so just be aware of that. And then for the cloak, we're using the Canis Luna cloak, specifically because I like how it bulks out the chest piece. So that's pretty much all the pieces. We're going to actually be looking into the arms and some of the other pieces because I really have to explain my thought process on this. So as you guys can see, this is how my hunter should be looking uh, from what I've shown you guys. And this is my big problem with these arm with the chest piece specifically. So if we look at like, for example, this right here, you guys will see that it kind of looks really empty here, which is why I ended up using the, these arms because the plate armor right here fits almost perfectly to the fur on the cloak. So I wanted to have something like that leveled out. So that way it doesn't look uh, small because the other arms that I was thinking about putting was this one right here. And I actually do like this. This does this does look really cool. It's just that the shape of the arm with the chest just kind of makes it look very uh, weird, kind of like uh, too too curved in my opinion. There's another arm which was, if I remember correctly, it was not that one. It was over here. It was this one right here. I was thinking about using this one as well because again, the main focus for me is the the shoulders. I want the the shoulder plate to be at least minimum or at least uh, like level to the fur so that way it doesn't look really weird because if you use stuff that isn't then it looks really weird like for example this one i already mentioned but another one would be like something like this where you can see like sort of a dip in here and that's what i'm mainly talking about uh for the cloak honestly the only reason i'm using it is because it bulks out the top piece which i'll just show you guys what i mean so this is another one I was thinking about. This does bulk up the top of the chest piece as well, but something like this, I wanted to cover this side right here and this side as well, because I feel like it's too small for certain pieces. Like, like this, for example, you can see the plate goes a little bit higher. It's very minimal. Don't get me wrong. Like what I'm thinking right now is just so extra, but that's like my thought process when I make fashion stuff, I just need to make sure that certain things are hitting points that I make that I want. So that's the other great thing um, or another thing I should point out the shader situation. So the reason I'm using Dreaming Spectrum aside from it being my favorite shader and actually the the shader that my 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 icon of this channel is I'm actually using Dreaming Spectrum in that picture. Uh, the other reason is because the wild hunt grasps the shoulder plates are actually different colors. So as you guys can see right here. They are actually different colors. And if you ever want to have a shader that combines all of like, for example, this is a good example of an arm that has different colors on each side. There's a bunch of pieces that have this. Another one would be 
the this one right here. This is another example of two pieces that have different uh, shader situations. But if you put on a shader like this, for example, Dreaming Spectrum, it actually combines both sides. Another shader, if you don't want to use Dreaming Spectrum, is Argent Torrent. Argent Torrent's another great shader for that. So I just want to make sure you guys are aware that there are two shaders in the game, at least from my what I've seen. I haven't tested all of the shaders, but I know that Ar Argent Tor Terra Torrent and Dreaming Spectrum both combine shaders. So just be aware of that. And for the Titans, I ended up going for a casual look for the boots. We are using Starfarer's Greaves, obviously. And for the helmet, we're using the Ringwalker helm, specifically because I wanted to combine it with the Intrepid exploit plate, because I like the fact that it looks like militaristic. For, like, honestly, that's the whole reason why I'm using those two pieces. For the arms, we're using the Katorier gauntlet, specifically because I like how it actually goes with the Intrepid exploit plate. It looks like it's supposed to be with that chest piece, which I think looks really cool. And then for the Mark, we're using the Lux Mark. Not much to say about this one. You will notice that the shaders are pretty weird. So for the boots and the chest piece, we're using Crucible Carmen, one of my favorite shaders. Crucible Red Jack for the, for the arms because Crucible Carmen has an inverted red, or not inverted, but it's a, a really bright red. And I didn't want Crucible Carmen to show that, which is why I switched to Cru uh, Crucible Red Jack. For the helmet, we're using uh, Bloody Tooth because I did not like how Crucible Red Jack and Carmen looked for that helmet. And then Amethyst Veil for the mark because I wanted to have a like just a really dark black. So let me actually show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is my Titan. Obviously, this is how she, uh, she should be looking. For the Crucible Red Jack, so here's my situation with the Crucible Red Jack. Uh, this is what I mean. You get a, re a really bright red for Crucible uh, Carmen, and I didn't want to have that, so that's why I switched to this. I like the white. I don't. It doesn't bug me in the slightest. And the helmet, I actually like the fact that it's a dark, a dark sheen on the helmet. The silver also doesn't bug me at all, and the red also doesn't bug me at all. Overall, I really do like this set. But again, uh, for casual look, I would probably go for a casual look just because the boots have so much cloth to it that the only plate pieces that are in this is the knee and like two pieces from here. That's the only thing that is actually plate aside from the bottom, the back of them as well. But again, it's attached. So technically I'm not wrong. Uh, this is the main reason why I went with a very casual look because again, all of it's basically just cloth and leather with pieces of armor there. Um, again, the cool thing is this does have a really cool design. So if you do actually want to show off the design, you can you can actually just use a shade, a different shader. Like, for example, I could probably just do let me switch back to the shaders Let me switch to this one. You could probably do something like this, which actually doesn't look terrible in the slightest. It's just that uh, I wanted to go for a, re a really dark look for this set. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I would probably switch out the arms if I'm being honest with you guys. You could probably just switch to like, uh, where are you? This one. I know some people would not like this. I don't like the arms for this, for the Lux set, just because of the, the tiger. I think that, or the lion, I think it ruins the whole set. So I would probably just stick to the, where is it? Where are you? This one's pretty good, although it's armored. So just be aware of that. But this one, I'd probably just stick to this. I know I'm using the same arms and, and chest piece. But I think they look so good together that sometimes I'm just like, bro, it looks good already. Like, I don't even know why I'm tripping most of the time. Like, it looks good. So, yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we have the Warlocks with the Starfarer's boots. This one, honestly, took me zero seconds to, like, figure out. I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to go for a cowboy look for the Warlock because the Starfarer's boots are such heavy cowboy feels for me. I don't know what it is. It's probably the boots but let's just get into it for the helmet we're using the illicit reaper hood hopefully i don't have to explain why this is cowboy for me uh it, mostly it's just the the face covering the helmet not so much but i think it's the face covering that really gives off that vibe for the arms we're actually using the ophidian aspects new ornament from last season which is the coiled lasso i fucking adore this this uh, ornament i think it's really good it's probably one of the better ornaments that the arms got because Ophidian Aspects like 
The base look is okay. The uh, caduceus, the, the snake one's also okay. And then the coaxial bonds, like, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan. Although you, you could probably rock that with a, with a SIVA look, but I just think the coiled lasso just has such, so much more versatility. For the chest piece, we're actually using Wrath Trail robes. This one, it's literally Tex Mechanica. Like I cannot, I cannot find a better chest piece than this dog. The other one that you could probably, actually, we'll we'll talk about that at the end after we're done looking at the armor because I have a lot to say about this one as well. Boots, obviously, Starfire's boots, it's really good. I really like it. I'm gonna go in more depth when we actually get the all the armor set because we'll be looking at each individual piece and whatnot. But just a quick. Uh, thing I love the boots. I think the boots are probably the best piece from the whole set aside from maybe the chest piece Actually, that's that's hard because I think the helmet looks really good, too We'll look when we'll, we'll talk about it when the video comes out and then for the bond We're actually using the home ward just because I like the fact that the arms already have like rope and I just wanted to add a little bit more rope to it So yeah, warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I definitely love this set this that this set is definitely gonna be my PvP set when I'm using Ophidian Aspects. So now that we're done with the Warlocks, let's actually look at what I'm talking about. So for the chest piece, you could actually do a few things. You could actually go for the Wrath Trail robes, the one that I just showed you, or you could use the Duster of the Cormorant. This one's also really good, and I actually would recommend this one too because it does look good. But if you're like, I don't know about that one either, even though I think this one does a better job at showing the boots, you could also just do the Intrepid Inquiry set, which I think looks good as well. Uh, my only thing, it, you kind of look like a professor for these boot for this chest piece, which is why I didn't lean into this one. But there is another one, which would be the where are you? Oh, here it is, the inspector's robes. This is another good one. I think the only thing I would switch out from this is the shader for the boots. I would probably switch that out to something that doesn't have the design because I don't want the design to take away from everything else. Uh, other than that, you could probably start getting into like some other cool parts. Like the prodigal robes are really good. Ray tech might be good. Maybe, maybe with a different shader. Uh, I would probably do like him robes as well, just because those look really cool. And I like the fact that you can see like the insignia of like, I don't know what that is, but it's fallen themed and you can see another fallen themed he thing here. So if we're being quite honest, you could probably go for a fallen themed look with this contacting destiny if i get disconnected i'm gonna be mad but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i like all of the sets that i made i think all of them are really good i think if i'm being quite honest the warlock is my favorite probably just because it's so sin like it's so thematic that each piece just fits so well uh, I think the Hunter might be my second favorite and the Titans, not saying I don't like the Titans, I still like the Titans. It's just that compared to like the other two, I think the Hunter and Warlock just win it by long. To be fair, I think the Warlock just wins it. Like, I think the Hunter and Titan are like in the middle for me. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point and I'll see y'all later.